Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you, maybe? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Very well, thanks. How was your day? Uh, today is good, all is good. Okay, that's nice. Did you have any time to work in the platform? Um, a little. <laughs> a little, okay. So what section are you in? Yes. What section uh, are you in? ¿En qué sección vamos, Melvin? Ahorita, es que no me recuerdo. Okay. Okay. I don't remember. All right, that's fine, no worry. María del Rosario, good evening, how are you? I'm very well. Okay, excellent. How was your day? Um, very tired because oh, I have a, a lot of work. A lot of work. What do you do? I am secretary. You're a secretary. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Yes. That's nice. Did you have any time to work in the platform? Yes, I, I work in. Um, I started section two, okay. number number two point one, content right. non content. Very good. Okay, that's nice. Yes, thank you. Good evening, Jose Angel. Good evening. How are you, Jose Angel? I am okay. And you? All right. I'm fine. Thanks. How okay. was your day? How was your day? Ah. Fine. Fine. Okay. That's nice. I am having working on the platform. Uh, no, no, ahora no. Okay. No, so you no, no, no. Start. Sí. Pero ya estuvo trabajando algo. Sí, sí, ya estuve. Oh. Ya, ya hice la sección uno. No estoy con ahí. Okay. Sí. All right, that's nice. Thanks. Good evening, Doris. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. How was your day? It's a nice day. Okay. That's great. I'm glad to hear it. And have you been working on the platform? Yes. In the one that 13 in the section number one. Okay. Pretty well. Keep on working. Thank you. Brenda Calderon, how are you? Hi, Miss. Thank you. Pretty well, thank you. How was your day? Sorry, Brenda, um, your microphone is up. Okay, okay, did you? Uh -huh. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, repeat, please. Oh, how was your day? Oh, fine. Okay. All right. Have you been working on the platform? Uh, I work in the platform 1.8. You're in 1.8. Okay. Keep going. Isaac Molina, how are you? Fine, teacher. You? Pretty well, thanks. How was your day? Oh, very happy. Very happy and, and heavy. Oh, really? Because it's a 
Yeah. Okay. And tell me about the platform. Have you been working on it? No, Miss. I have the connection. Is uh, I and the. Uh, oh. Sorry, uh, Isaac. I couldn't hear you. Hello? Yes, now I hear you. Um, sorry, we couldn't hear what you said. Um, yeah. So Hello? you were, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so you were saying you have problems with the connection to the internet, internet right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, right. if my my email and my pa and the password is the is not connection with the uh, is that have a problem the uh, I have the send the email a Jonathan but it's not an answer. Oh, you haven't got an answer. So let me ask him tomorrow. What's your your complete name, that it would be your full name, Isaac. Manuel Molina. Manuel Molina. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to tell Jason tomorrow, okay? Okay, thanks, miss. All right. Okay, I think we're ready to start with our class, so let's just go on. So welcome, everybody. We are going to start with this activity, which is called erase a word. So what are we going to do? Well, here, as you can see, we have some different verbs in the past. We are going to pronounce them one by one. And well, I'm going to choose a person uh, to read each of the verbs. For example, I can ask Brenda to pronounce the first one. So she says, listened. Then Maria del Rosario, um, reads the second one, studied. Carlos reads, helped, and so on. So that's what you have to do. But um, you have to be very careful with the pronunciation because you have to do it in the right way. If you make a mistake, then we're getting back to the first verb, okay? So let's give it a try. We got, uh, well, First of all, let me tell you about the, the right pronunciation. Please listen and repeat. Listened. Okay. Listened. Listened. Studied. 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 Helped. 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 Painted. 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 Started. 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 Met. 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 Fixed. 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 Drop. 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 Wanted. Wanted. New. 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 Run. 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 Played. 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 Groat. Groat. Took. 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 But. 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 Broke. 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 Watched. What? Watched. Read. 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 Went. 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 Hot. Cut. Cut. Used. 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 Okay, so now we can do the activity. So let's see, Maria del Rosario, you read the first one. Pronunciation in pass. Yes. Okay, listen it. Again, listening. You say listened. listened, listened, listened. Okay, very good. And let's see, let me ask Doris, can you read it again, please? The first one. Listened. Okay. Brenda Calderon, continue. Study. Again. 
Study. Study. Okay, thank you. Carlos, next one. Help. Okay, thanks. Jose Angel. Yes, yes. Can you read the verb, please? Yeah. Okay. Um, Isaac. Start. Yeah. Start it. Thank you. Melvin. Next one. Meet. Again. Meet. That one is met. 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 Everybody repeat, please. Met. Met. Okay. So now we get back to the first one. Then, Doris, start again. Listen. Thank you, Melvin. Study. Study. Okay, Maria del Rosario. Helped. Thank you. Brenda. Paint. Again? Paint. That one is painted. Okay. Paint. Okay. okay. Painted. All right. Thank you. Let's just continue. Isaac, next one. It started. Okay. Jose Angel. Jose Angel. Okay, Carlos Herrera. Met. Yes. Yeah. Carlos, continue, please. Bro. Um, again, Carlos. Sorry, teacher. Um, you're reading this one. Fix. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Next one is for Catherine. Catherine Rodriguez. Hello. Can you read the next verb, please? Mm, drive. Um, in the past. In the past is drove. Drove. Okay. Thank you. Melvin Benitez. Next one, please. Wanted. Wanted, okay. Let's see Maria del Rosario, continue. New, new. Okay. Brenda. Ram. Thank you. Jose Angel. Place. Thanks. Isaac. Broad. Okay. Let's see. Next one. Carlos. Took. Thanks. Melvin. Bought. All right. Um, Doris. Broke. Okay, and then we got one for Catherine. Watch. Okay, thank you, Catherine. Again, Maria de Rosario. Red. Thanks. Jose Angel, read the next one.
went. All right, Isaac. Out. Again? Cut. You say cut, cut. Cut. Okay, thank you. And the last one, Doris? Used. Used, you're right. Very good. So now let's continue with our next activity. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about time expressions for the past. So the most common one would be yesterday, right? Then we also have expressions like yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening. Another one that we could find is the day before yesterday. So in English, there is no word to say anteayer, ante right? Or antier, as we, say, as we commonly say, right? There is no word for that. So we say the day before yesterday. That's the way we say it. And then we also have expressions like last night, last Monday, last Thursday, or last Saturday, last week, last month, last year. Or we could also use one day ago, two days ago, three days ago, and so on. And another option would be to say a specific date or a specific year. For example, in 2015. Okay, repeat please. Yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday morning. Yesterday, yesterday morning. morning. Yesterday afternoon. Yesterday, yesterday afternoon. afternoon. Yesterday evening. Yesterday, yesterday evening. evening. The day before yesterday. The day before yesterday. Last night. Last, last night. night. Last Monday. Last Monday. Last Thursday. Last Thursday. Last Saturday. Last Sunday. Last week. Last week. Last month. Last month. Last year. Last, Last year. year, one day ago, yeah. one, one day, day ago. ago, two days ago, two days ago, three days ago, three days ago, three days ago. Three days ago. in 2015, in 2015. Okay, are we clear about all the time expressions or do we have any questions? No questions. Not okay, clear. so now let's make some examples. Let me see. Um, tell me an example using yesterday, please. Anybody? I it proposed a yesterday. I what's the past of it? Eight. So we say I ate pupusas yesterday. I ate pupusas yesterday. Okay, now make one using yesterday morning. Yesterday morning I was in the gym. Okay, very good. And another one using yesterday afternoon. The yesterday afternoon I have the lunch. Okay, I had, right? The past of have, had. Okay. Thank you. And next one is yesterday evening. Make an example, please. I drank chocolate. Hmm? Yesterday evening, right? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Next one is the day before yesterday. Tell me an example using that one. Yeah. 
I go to swimming the day before yesterday. I went, right? I, I went. I went. Okay, thank you. I went swimming the day before yesterday. Now make another example using last night. We were in, in the English class last night. Excellent. Make another one using last Monday. The last Monday is the finished mode, day's mode. Last Monday we finished, what is it? November's day. Um, sorry, what do you mean? Um, oh, change. The, the last Monday is uh, the play the so playing the soccer. Okay, last Monday I played soccer. Very good. Now make another one you seen last month. Anybody? I sick. I I was sick uh, last month. Last month. All right, that's a good example. And now let's make another one using two days ago. I was working two day ago. Two days ago. Uh, ago. <laughs> Okay, and the last one you seen in 2015? In 2015, we were, gra no, <laughs> we graduated. We graduated maybe from high school or from university, you could say. Okay, yes. very well. It's so now let's talk a little bit about the simple past yes, no questions. So you may already know that we, well, here, first of all, let's compare the simple present to the simple past. So in the simple present, I have this example, do you have a car? Remember that we use the auxiliary do and then uh, in the question and also for the answer, right? So do you have a car? Yes, I do. No, I don't. And then in the past, instead of using do, we use did. Did you work yesterday? And for the answers, we have yes, I did or no, I didn't. Didn't, didn't. Mm -hmm. So the structure that we follow in order to make yes, no questions in the simple past is did plus subject, then we need a verb in the present. It's very important to remember that detail. Remember we use the verb in the base form, in the present. No. And after that, we only add a complement no. and a question mark. Here I have some examples. Did she come last week? Did they travel to Canada last month? And then the answers could be, for example, for the first one, did she come last week? How do we answer? So what do we answer to this? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Or, or yes, yes. Uh, she came last week. Exactly. Or in the negative, we could say, no, she didn't. No, she didn't come last week. And for the second question, did they travel to Canada last month? What could be the answers? Yes, they did or no, they didn't. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. And we could also um, answer using long answers. Yes, they traveled to Canada last month or no, they didn't travel to Canada last month. Okay, so now we're going to make some questions and then we're going to 
us and answer them. So um, here I have a subject, you, and then we have have a hamburger for dinner. How do we make the question in the past? Did, did, did you, you have, have a burger for dinner? Did you have a hamburger for dinner? Okay, so that's the way you make the question. And then what could be the answer? Let's see, Doris, did you have a hamburger for dinner? No, I did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. All right. So that's the exercise I want you to do um, together with your classmates in the breakup rooms. So let me send you to the breakup rooms right now. You're going to be there for a couple of minutes and you have to make questions using the information I have here. Let me just send a picture to the chat in WhatsApp. And um, you make the questions, then you ask and answer them, okay? Okay. All right, so let me just send you to the breakup rooms right now. There you go. one question. Tell me. Yes, who has a question? Comienzo yo. Yes. Did you have a hamburger for dinner? No, I didn't. Can't see her. How many persons? Me, uh, your... How many persons are in this room? Three. Yeah. Three persons. Three persons. Carlos and who? Who more? Two. That is Jose Angel, Carlos, and um, sorry, there is one that says Capacitación APSEC. Um, can you check that, please? No sé si podemos revisar ahí. Um, el que dice Capacitación APSEC le puede cambiar el nombre para aquí. No sí. sé si sí. Thank you. Okay, so remember you have to ask and answer the questions. So please continue working. Okay. Yeah. 
Hola. Hola. I have the problem this connection in the platform. Did, did okay. you have a problem in the in, in internet? No, this uh, I don't, don't agree is the group, mm. but it's I uh, it help this uh, uh, Jonathan is the English corporative. Okay. I think he's can help you about the WhatsApp group. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Welcome, Marlon. Oh, good evening. Hi, Mark. No, disculpa que me voy conectando. No sé qué están haciendo, pero lo estoy escuchando más o menos para entender. Ok, okay si, si gusta practicar con, con María, porque, o oh, quiero ver, ¿cómo sería? Porque ya lo hicimos nosotros. Sí. Para que usted también Responda. Sí, usted, María, a, a Marlo para que practique también. Para que él Correcto. conteste. O, o para que usted conteste. Ok, Marlo. Solo contestar, Marlo, si, si lo haces o no lo haces. Lo que quieren es si es algo afirmativo o positivo o negativo. Ok. Ok, Marlo. Did you have a hamburg hamburger for dinner? Uh, did, you, did, you give? did your brother or sister give you a gift for your ah, birthday? Sí, That's the question. Uh -huh. question. No, anyone okay. give me anyone give me a gift on my birthday? Did you learn Chinese? Chinese two years ago. I did. A, I, no. I, What's the question? No, I didn't. In my case. Did you celebrate last Christmas? For who the question? Yes, I did. Did you eat pasta last week? Yes, I did. Did you work yesterday afternoon? Yes. Did you drink coffee in the morning, Anna? No, I didn't. I didn't drink milk. Yes, I did in my case. Did you complete any exercise in the platform yesterday? Yes, I did. I complete. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay. Finish. Si quiere, le pregunto a usted. Okay. <laughs> did you have a hamburger for dinner? No, I didn't. Did you... Did you... Mom, this is your last weekend? Yes, I did. Did you travel to New York last year? No, I didn't travel to New York last year. Did your brother and sister give you a gift of, of your last birthday? No, I didn't. Did your lamp shine? China. Chinese. Chinese to year two year ago? No, I did. I didn't. Did you celebrate last Christmas? Yes, I did. Did you eat pasta last week? No, I didn't. Did you work yesterday afternoon? Yes, I did. Did you drink coffee in the morning? Yes, I did. In Always. <laughs> all day. <laughs> did you compliment 
No, did you complete any exercise in the platform yesterday? Yes, I did the section number two, number oh. one. Ah, okay. <laughs> Excellent. No copy, no copy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy, very easy, section one. Okay, so let me hear some of your answers. Let's see, Maria del Rosario, did you have a hamburger for dinner? Sorry, check your microphone, please. Excuse me, teacher. It's okay. No, I didn't, and no, I didn't have a hamburger for dinner. Okay. Fabricio, did your mom visit you last weekend? <coughs> Uh, no, I didn't. This is... uh, okay, in that case, you need to say she didn't because ah, okay. it was your mom, right? So it's okay. different when we say, um, did your mom visit you last weekend or did you visit your mom last weekend, okay? So just be aware of that difference. Okay, okay thank you, Fabricio. And next one is for Isaac. Did you travel to New York last year? Isaac? Oh, sorry, sorry. No, I didn't. Okay. I traveled to the last year is uh, Houston. You traveled to Houston last year. Okay, very good. Catherine Rodriguez, did your brother or sister give you a gift on your last birthday? Yes, she, she did. Okay, your sister did. That's nice. Brenda Calderon, did you learn Chinese two years ago? Uh, no, no, I didn't. You didn't. Okay, thank you. Doris, um, did you celebrate last Christmas? Yes, I did. Okay, that's nice. Dennis William, tell me, um, did you eat pasta last week? No, I didn't. Okay. Melvin, did you work yesterday afternoon? Yes, I did. Okay. Carlos Herrera, did you drink coffee in the morning? No, I didn't. You didn't. And Ana Palma, did you complete any exercises in the platform yesterday? Yes, I did. I complete three sessions. All right. That's very great. Okay. So now let's continue by talking about the past of B in questions. So was. we got, for example, yes, was and where, right? So we got, for example, this sentence, Melissa was very nervous. And all we need to do in order to make it, to make a question is to change the order of the elements, right? So instead of starting with a subject, we start with the verb B. And then we have the subject. So we say, was Melissa very nervous? And the structure to follow is this one. We got was or were, then the subject, and then the complement plus the question mark. Here we have some examples. Was it a good trip? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Can you help me to read the next example, Brenda? Excuse me, teacher. Can you help me to read, please? Were you at your mom's house yesterday? Yes, I was. 
No, I wasn't. Okay, thanks. And we got a third example. Let's see who can help me to read. Ruth Rodriguez. Okay, teacher. Uh, were Jake and Anne at the theater? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Okay, thanks. So that's the way we make questions using was and where. So here I have an exercise to practice. We're going to change the affirmative sentences into questions or into the interrog interrogative form. The first one, you were ready for the trip. What's the question? Were you ready, were you ready, ready for, for, the, for trip? the trip? Were you ready for the trip? Okay. Next one says, Sara was there. Was Sara was there? there? there. Exactly. The tourists were from Panama. The tourists were the tourists the tourists from, from Panama. Panama. Were the tourists from Panama? My dad was so angry at me. Was my dad, was my dad, was my dad, dad so, so angry at me? Yes, we say, was my dad so angry at me? Next one, what? it was a nice dream. It was, was one a nice dream. nice dream. Okay, then we have, you were on the yellow bus. Were, were you, you were on the, on the yellow, on bus? The yellow bus? bus? Yes, were you on the yellow bus? You were busy last night. Were you busy last night? Last night. We say, were you busy last night? Next one is Anthony and you were invited to the party. Were Anthony and you invited to the party? The party. Were Anthony and you invited to the party? Number nine, the answer was incorrect. Was the answer incorrect? Incorrect. Okay, Sophie was very embarrassed. Was Sophie very embarrassed? Very embarrassed? Okay, very well. So now let's practice by saying what we did yesterday. So I want you to think about something you did yesterday and you are going to express it in this way. So you say, for example, I went to the supermarket. And then um, the next participant is going to make it negative. So that person is going to say, I didn't, didn't go to the supermarket. Go to the supermarket. And then you say, but I, and you add your own sentence. Okay, so you repeat what your classmate said, but in the negative, and then you add your own sentence. So it goes like, I went to the supermarket, I didn't go to the supermarket, but I visited my grandma, for instance, okay? So let's give it a try. Let me see. Maria del Rosario, you start. Let me tell you my sentence. I played soccer yesterday. I didn't play soccer yesterday. But I? Um, but I... I... I was, didn't? I was, I was uh, going to the supermarket. But I went to the supermarket. I went. Okay, so you said I didn't play soccer yesterday, but I went to the supermarket. Is that right? Maria de Rosario, is that right? Okay. Yes. Okay, so Jose Angel, continue. Uh, okay, so let me explain the activity so, again. Uh, I I went to the, the supermarket. Okay. I did. Mm -hmm. 
So, Jose Angel, you have to repeat what Maria del Rosario said, but in the negative form. And then you have to add your own sentence. So, Maria's sentence was, I went to the supermarket. So, you say, I didn't go to the supermarket, but I. And you add your own sentence. Give it a try, please. Um, okay, so let me repeat one more time. Vamos a ir haciendo una oración cada uno. Entonces, por ejemplo, si yo le digo que mi oración es, o oh, bueno, María acaba de decir esta, I went to the supermarket. Entonces, el siguiente compañero repite lo, la misma oración, pero en negativo. I didn't go to the supermarket. Y luego agrega okay. una oración diciendo, but I, y ahí puede decir lo que usted quiera. But I went to the cinema. But I um, visited my grandma. But I traveled to Metapan. Just whatever thing you want to say, okay? So now, Jose Angel, please participate. Mm -hmm. uh, um... I bought, I bought in the store. Okay, you bought something in the store. Very good. Fabricio, continue. Uh, I didn't buy. I didn't buy. Anything in the store? I, I didn't buy. Anything in the store, but I in in the phone, but I I watch TV in the afternoon. Okay, very good. Now Isaac, it's your turn. I didn't go to the restaurant, but I can this the uh, a dream. I go to bed dream. Sorry, can you repeat it? Um, I didn't to go to a restaurant. I didn't go to a restaurant, but I? But I, uh, I go to the bed. I went to bed. I went to bed. But I can, but I, um, during a bed. Sorry, what do you mean? Uh, dormir. Yeah, so I went to bed and maybe you could say early. Oh. Okay, I went to bed right. early. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Miss. Okay, so continue, Ana Palma. Yesterday, I go to my, my work. Remember, you have to make a negative sentence first. Uh, the principal sentence, uh, what, what that? Sorry, couldn't get that. Can you repeat it? I got the bell yesterday. Okay. That's the principal sentence. I didn't, I didn't the, the work. Because, oh, but I, but I go, but I went to the church. You went to the church. Okay, Catherine, continue. I didn't go to the doctor, but I went to the pharmacy. Okay, thank you, Catherine. Brenda Calderon, continue. I didn't go to the supermarket, but I uh, read the book. Okay, you read a book. Doris, you're next. I went to the 
park with my brother. Mm -hmm. I didn't go to the park with my brother, but I but I I went to the mall. All right. Thank you, Doris. Dennis William. Yes, teacher. I, I didn't I didn't go to the work, but I went to the beach. Okay, thank you. Melvin, continue please. I didn't go to, to the supermarket, but I went to the stadium. Okay. Carlos Herrera, you're next. I didn't go to the job, but I work from house. You didn't go to work. Okay. Okay. Catherine, continue, please. I didn't go to the work, but I went to the beach. Okay. Ruth Rodriguez, you're next. I didn't visit my mom, but I I went uh, watch TV in my home. Okay. Marla, you're the last one. I didn't watch to TV. You didn't watch but, TV? But I played soccer. You played soccer. Okay, very nice. All right, so in the remaining minutes, I want you to open the chat, please. Everybody open the chat. And I want you to think about three things that you did yesterday. And I want you to write them over there in the chat, please. So you go, for example, I worked yesterday. Um, also, I visited my mom yesterday and I bought some pupusas yesterday. Just think about three things you did yesterday and you type the sentences in the chat, please. Okay, we'll just take a couple of seconds to think about your sentences, type them and send them. Okay, Ana Panma says, I ate pizza yesterday, okay. Fabricio says, I didn't play basketball yesterday. Very good. Brenda Calderon says, I worked yesterday. Okay. Ruth, am I visited? Remember to change the verb, Ruth, please. I visited my best friend yesterday. Doris, I ate pasta yesterday, okay. Carlos Herrera, I played um, PlayStation yesterday, okay. Any other examples of things you did or didn't do yesterday? Anna says, I did not work today, okay. Dennis William, I visited my old house yesterday, very nice. Isaac, I didn't eat a pollo yesterday. That is chicken, Isaac. I didn't eat chicken. Doris, I visited my grandmother yesterday, okay. Melvin, I walked yesterday. And Marlon says, I ran with my friends yesterday. Jose Angel, I visited my friend last weekend, okay. All right, do we have any other examples? 
Yes, we got one from Melvin. I listened to music yesterday. Anna says I had a party last weekend. Isaac, I didn't eat pollo campero yesterday. Okay, great. Catherine says I drank coffee with my mom yesterday. Okay, very well. So let's stop over here. Thank you very much for your participation. That will be all for today's class. Just let me remind you about the work in the platform. Remember, it's very important for you to continue working there. By now we are in section number two already. So please try to complete section one at least and on the weekend, okay? So um, remember, we got this week and next week to complete section one, two, and three. So keep on working. All right, see you on Monday. Okay. Take care and have a good weekend. See you. Good night. 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 Good